Tonight we investigate the haunted real stone quarry in Chesterfield. Join us for this spooky spectacular Halloween special. Happy Halloween! Good evening. Happy Halloween. I'm here with Alan, my new ghost hunter friend. I do. This is the Halloween special. We're here at Real Stone Quarry near Chesterfield. Thanks to Richard for the uh, location. Go and look at his channel. It's called Where Angels Fear on YouTube. Let's get on with the show. All right, we're here in the quarry. We've set up a lot of equipment. We're going to just walk you around and show you what we've got set up. Q box. And what this does, if you, you're going to hear it, it'll go off. So anything that goes past that, as you can see, it'll just go off straight away. Very sensitive piece of kit. You've probably seen these a lot in ghost hunting videos. They're basically EMF readers, the electromagnetic frequency of your body or anything passing through it will trigger it. And here we've got a K2. Again, same kind of thing. Any magnetic field or anything walks past it, it'll go from green and it'll start flashing these lights. And uh, that gives evidence of anything slightly paranormal that may go past it. Yeah, we're going to try and get the ghost to perhaps touch it or trigger it for us. We've got a cat ball down there. We've got a cat ball up on the wall there. There's another cat ball down there and there's one over there. So there's plenty of stuff around. We've also put a bell on here. Whether the ghost is strong enough to ring the bell, I don't know. But we can always hope. There's also a PR sensor there, which is a new thing I'm trying. Hello, welcome. It obviously picks up infrared. Normally heat. I forgot we've got a sensor in here as well. This room feels much creepier for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's colder. If it's because it's cold there. If it's because it's cold there. In here we've got uh, another EMF reader. It's also does temperature as well. So if anything touches it, or goes near it, it can... If we hear that going off from other room, we know we're... Uh, this group here in here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Thick down to it's very thick, that isn't it? It's got a lot in it. And the other kit we've got, we've brought, I've brought this. It's a motion tracking camera. I don't seem to be wanting to track it. Likes Alan. It doesn't like me. <laughs> If when Alan moves, look, it actually follows him. I've put a GoPro on it. Yeah, it's following yeah, tracking. Him. See, it's actually tracking him. And the other last thing, but not least, my own design spirit box connected to a, a big, massive speaker so we can hear it clearer because obviously on a lot of videos you might have seen I never really hear the hear what's being said till afterwards. Can you touch any of the equipment, the cat hall, the bell, any of the sensors? We've spread some equipment around this building for you. If there's any spirits here you can manipulate them, you can use our energies, you can use 
the power of these batteries. There's different things you can touch that might look like electronics. If you go near them, it'll show us that you're here. We're not here to cause any distress or alarm to you or harm you in any way. We're just here to gather evidence that spirits live on and that you're guarding this place. Can you touch one of these electronic items for us? Can you make a sound to let us know that you're here? My name's Daniel and this is Alan. Did you used to work here? I often think to myself, I should just bring a chair and just sit here and quiet and just yeah. listen, you know. I know there's odds in and stuff, but if you notice when you said like a sound and what there were quite a few at the same time there. Yeah. Did you notice them coming? That's why I like to you know. Did you know it was coming? That's why I like to do the knock thing when you yeah. knock on something like or did, 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 yeah. to see if they re they finish it. Can you finish this? I do get that feeling here though, of, of, of that creepy feeling, you know, that you, you know when you feel uh, spirits, Yeah. I do get that in here, I get it really bad in there. Are there any spirits here who would like to communicate with us? Who's in charge here? See, this is a newer bit of the building, that's the older bit. Yeah. Come and touch one of these electronic devices and show us that you're here. If there's any spirits here, any, any gentlemen, come and use this device to talk to us. What's your name? What did you do in this location? Can you tell us your name? My name's Daniel. Can you say Daniel? 
Can you say my name? Can you say Alan? Did that say Alan? Hello? Can you say my name, Alan? Can you tell us how you died? the name of this place? I said real. Name of this place real stone quarry. Is this a quarry? Dan. Is that is it Dan? <laughs> What year were you born? Are you a man or a woman? Man. Is it? Can you say my name? Can you say Alan? Did that say Alan? Can you say my name, Alan? Can you tell us how you died? The name of this place. I said real. Name of this place real stone quarry. Is this a quarry? Is it done? <laughs> done. <laughs> What year were you born? Are you a man or a woman? Man. Are you scared of us? I'll oh, shut it up. Why are you afraid of us? Are you a coward? Come and show us how strong you are.
Make your presence known. Can you tell us your name? That's the same voice again. Can you tell us your name? Richard. It said Richard. Is it? It said Richard, yeah. Is your name Richard? Yes. Yes. Richard. Can you set one of these devices off? All you have to do is touch it. We're here to see if there's such thing as the afterlife. If spirits exist. That's the only reason we're here. And when we've gone, we won't be coming back. So this is your chance to talk to us. Tell us why you're here. Richard? I think we should split up. <laughs> Are we going to split up? You're going to take a camera and walk around that way and I'll walk around this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go around there and through out that door and in that way. Take camera then. going to take me on a journey. Or you can even walk out door. Oh, you can get out that way. Yeah, just walk around. I'll walk, walk around this way. So we're going to have a bit of a walk around on our own. He's going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. On. Oh. <laughs> setting up sensors. There's another building here. I'm on my own. In the darkness. It's really dark. Blinded by the light now. An owl. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, build here. That's creepy. <sighs> Can you finish this? So this here, this looks like it's the oldest part of the building, this. I expect this, uh, this chain to go off.
is Richard here. Did you hear that, Dan? I don't know what that was. It sounded like a squeal. I'm not sure if this camera would have picked it up. Is there anybody in here? Richard, are you in here? If you are, give us a sign, give us a knock. Make one of the electronic devices go off. At the moment, I'm in this building on my own. I'm not here to hurt you. Nothing to be scared. Mm -hmm. Nice view over there. Look, there's some of the stone that they've been quarrying. <sighs> Alan's making some funny noises over there. Richard? <laughs> There's another big building there. Is it? Did you hear that? When I walked into here, I stood there and I went up to that device and just make sure it was still working. And I was stood still like that and I could hear like a faint squealing coming from over there. Yeah, it was uh, an owl. It was an owl. It was going over there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, because I pointed the camera at it as soon as I heard it. I thought, oh, yeah. what? Yeah, I shouted and I said, Dan, did you hear that? <laughs> he's left me, he's gone. He's gone on. So you can tell this is the older building because it's asbestos, whereas this one's tin. That all. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's been trashed this place, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like a big another big hangar over there. So watch that all there. <laughs> you see that one where we went on Mexbro on that building in Mexbro? And I climbed up that ladder up to, onto the roof. That culture factory. Yeah. Fucking hell, that was fucking scary.
Is anybody here with us? Can you knock on something? Can you make that sound again? Can you not really loud? That was loud, wasn't it? That and that were like. Yeah. I thought it was like door just moving a bit, but. There's no wind. No. It's not going to move back that thing, is it? <laughs> it's really hard. Again. Can you knock twice? <laughs> Did that not knock twice? Yeah. It? Do you like us to leave? Not once, but yes. Oh, that's the mouse farting now, isn't it? Big mouse. <laughs> Can you come and touch any electronic device? Or any of the cat balls? Just to let us know that you're here. Or again, give us a loud bang, or a couple of loud bangs. Do you not want to see it? Bang one for yes, twice for no. Can you show yourself? Hang on that. Stand back, I'm going to back now. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Richard, can you come and press the bell? Sense. And it's not windy. Yeah. Only for stuff in my ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost certain that you're not going to tell. You did, sir. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to try the spirit box. Is there any spirits here with us? Any ghosts? Anybody living? Anybody not living? Anybody working here? What I want you to do is I want you to come and use this device in this box. It'll not hurt you, but you can manipulate it to talk to us through the white noise. It's basically just a radio.
Is there anybody here with us tonight? Say my name, Alan. Is there any evil spirits here? I just want to weigh in there. This spirit box scans through radio frequencies very fast to make white noise. It doesn't pick up radio signals, that's why you don't get any music. Whatever was said there was a sentence, which just cannot happen. It must be something paranormal. Anything more than one word is unusual. And there we have the knocking again. We had this all through the night, especially in response to our questions. It's very unusual and cannot be explained. How did you die? That's the same girl's voice. She either said a friend or I fell. I can't really decipher what she said, but it's unusual to get the same voice. Did you work here? What year did you die? <laughs> Do you not like this device? Are you afraid? Are you a coward? Come and 
Show us. Show us who you can talk to us. Tell us who you are. It's not like in that, is it? Okay, nothing. Where's that noise at it? Do you want this head torch? Eh? Do you want this head torch? No, you're alright. I've got my other one in my pocket, haven't I? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for this to just completely come off. Have you been to that uh, John Workhouse? No, is it one of pay things? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a pay thing. I'm not sure if it's a pay thing. No, so, I think it is, yeah. I think they do events there. No, I don't know. Practice, don't we? Hello? Hello? Avon? Hey, I've only been camping out in here. Oh, this is where they were, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Good evening. Any spirits in here with us? Oh, I fucking forgot it. <laughs> Anybody in here with us? If there is, can you give us a knock? Is there a supervisor here we can speak to? Who's in charge here? You've seen this old control panel here? An old control panel. That mess. It's amazing how much damage people can do when they're left on their own. How about that? That's some impressive graffiti. Yeah, there's a lot of it, isn't there? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's a good one. I'll laugh when I'm on the knee once. I said, I'm going to paint all the way. And I did it in that colour. Hello, I'm green. <laughs> 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 <coughs> It'd look good if you did it like that, with black and red. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone that come in had to wear fucking sunglasses. <laughs> awesome. Oh, <coughs> yes. Is there anybody in here with us? Can you give us a nod? Some devices in the other sheds. Perhaps you can go and touch one now we're not there. But as soon as I come up towards this building, I get like a, I feel like a weird feeling. Not in there, but in there. What I get, this way, what's I, yeah. I just get a weird feeling from it. I think battery's gone in that torch. Yeah. Let's go in there. Yeah, 
and we're free of surviving in here. A bit like, you know, when you get that adrenaline rush, like when you almost have a fight. Yeah. I kind of get, feel, feel a bit like that, you know, a bit, like a bit irritating and a bit hyped up. Is there anybody here? Anybody in this building? Can you give us a name? Use this device to give us a name. Will? William? Can I say hi, Will? <laughs> Can you say Daniel? Can you say Barry Manilow? Say my name, Alan. Alan? <laughs> Did you say Alan? What's your name? Paul? What's the name of this building? Sleep in here, would you? No. Even with Donald Duck over there, well. Alright, that's on. I'm using Spirit Talker. Spirit Talker. Is there anybody in here? Can you give us a name? We've come here to speak to you. Are you afraid of us? Jasmine. 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 <laughs> can you say any of our names? I'm not going to tell you what they are, but can you say my name? Or can you say my colleague's name? on here with the screen on it. You can use it to make words. So you give us a name, Jasmine. So, Jasmine, did you used to work here? Did you, you die good? here? Can you give us a name? Name of the boss. It's very quiet. Yeah, it's really unusual to quiet that. Mm. Crying. That one no stupid exhaust. Mm. I think so. Mm. You're crying. So, is that Jasmine that's crying? Is that, that, is that Jasmine that's crying, or is it anybody else? Are you crying because you're stuck here? I'm protecting you. Well, I'd like to thank you for that. Protecting us from what? Yeah, what are you protecting us from? Because we've seen nothing up to press to protect us from. Up. Up. Oh, the ceiling, it's getting, the ceiling's going to fall in on us. There's a lot of holes in it. There's a bit, right?
Are there any bad spirits in here? Can you touch any devices? This is really working. Oh, you want this to work? I'll fetch you some stone in, we'll get it cut for you. The Yorkshire lads will uh, crack on with it, son. Can you touch any devices? Let us know that you're here. There's all these, all this machinery around here, all these electronic devices. If you can touch beware. What, what did it say? Beware. Beware of what? Don't beware of the devices. Come and touch one, it'll turn it on and then we'll get to work. I had a beep then. Beware of it, put it off beep. What are you telling us to beware of? Impending ass raping. <laughs> like a straight back to the door. Leroy, the ass raper. I'm just going to go into the video a bit with this. Hey. I'm just going to go into the video over there a bit with this in dark. Yeah. Okay. Don't get scared now. Again. If there's anybody in here, can you give us a knock? Let us know that you're here. Or touch any of the electronic devices. There's one here, look. All you have to do is just touch it, like so. Can you make that go off? I'm here in the pitch black filming the Halloween special here at Real Stone Quarry. <laughs> Happy Halloween. That's good night from me. That's good night from Alan. Thanks for watching. Did you hear that then? Mm, I did. Something clicked, didn't it? Yeah. Like it snapped its fingers. <laughs> well, this is the ship to the sheep. Let's get the flock out of here. <laughs>